Hey everyone, Shortbus here with the Minecraft tutorial. In this episode, I want to focus on a couple of the new machines in Industrial Craft 2. Before I get too far, I want to give you a little information regarding Industrial Craft 2 and its current releases. Alblaca, the original creator of Industrial Craft, seems to have given up, or at least temporarily, on releasing any updates to his highly acclaimed mod Industrial Craft. Fortunately for those of us who like this mod, there are a dedicated few who continue to update the mod. Most notably, Gregorius Tech, or Greg Tech as some call him. He was the original author of many add-on mods for Industrial Craft. Now that he's the primary code writer, he's incorporating those add-ons into the Industrial Craft 2 releases. With Alblaca gone, it appears as though the newer crew are not making any official releases of Industrial Craft, but instead releasing experimental updates. Because these updates are technically unofficial, it makes finding documentation on it difficult. Because of that, I feel that I can help enlighten you to some of the newer things going on with Industrial Craft 2. I will post a link to the experimental IC2 download page, which is hosted on Jenkins. If you haven't already installed an experimental version, then these machines may not relate to you or your game. If you do install these updates, make sure that you save a backup of your .minecraft folder and files. Releases come out quite frequently. Today alone, I've seen three updates. You don't need to update your files with every one they release, but keep an eye on them regularly so you can get patched versions and occasionally come across some new features. I'm currently using version 2.0.133 Experimental. 133 is a build number. I think it's up to 136 at the time of this recording. Like I said, you don't need to update all the time, but keep an eye on it. Let's go ahead and get started with our tutorial. Alright everybody, first thing you're going to notice here is I've got some solar generators here powering a bat box. Didn't need this bat box, but I threw it in there for some extra storage. And then these are new. These are the CESUs. These are, if you update from uh, the last official version, uh, all your MFEs, they will turn into the CESU. CESU, like the old MFEs, are medium voltage, uh, but they only store about half the power that the old MFEs did. Uh, still a decent amount of power though. The new MFEs, on a side note, they are high voltage and they actually store I believe 4 million units of power. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. First we got the macerator. Alright, this is uh, pretty much what you're used to. You used to stick in an ore block and you get two out. Except for now, instead of two dust, you get two crushed ores. Alright, so let's take these ores. You can take these ores and like before, you just take them and you put them in a furnace and you get your ingots out. Okay, uh, But if you follow the process with these new machines, uh, you'll get some extra material as you'll see. And with that extra material, you can actually use it to get extra ores. Yeah, slime ball over there. Get out of here. You drive me nuts. Uh, you can get some extra ores out of it. So, uh, But even if you don't use it for the extra ores, because it is kind of a lengthy process, um, you can still use it for uh, uh, you have to use it for nuclear power plant. Sorry about that. You have to use it for nuclear power plant because what you're used to in the past is when you see an ore block down in a mine or a uranium block, you would drop a uranium dust or whatever this is right here. But instead you don't get that anymore. Now you get the uranium block. All right, so we go to the macerator and stick in the uranium block. And it comes out to crushed uranium ores. Okay, so we take these and... Uh, through this process, we'll actually end up enriching this. All right, so let's go to our first new machine here. This is the ore washer. All right, let's go over the GUI interface here. All right, right here is where you can put in your power unit. Right here, this machine will actually store 8,000, about 8,000 units of power. Okay, it's not much, um, but just so you do know, I tried to put in a lap pack here. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but I tried to put in a lap pack, and it wouldn't accept it. Okay, but it did accept the old bat pack here and it did accept uh, batteries. I put in some batteries and accepted that, but you know, I've got it hooked up to the power unit here, so um, you don't really have to care about that. This top one here, what we need to do is we need to feed water in here. This top one's where you put your water, all right? There's a couple things you could do. First off, we can go like this. We could put in uh, a bucket and we get one little unit of water in there, okay? One unit of water in here, this can store up to eight units of water. One, one unit of water here will uh, wash one ore, okay? One crushed ore. Um, or we can go in here, the thing about the buckets, you know, is uh, you can't stack water buckets. But we got the water cells, you can stack these. The only thing about this is 
you lose your water cells. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a bug or if they did it on purpose, but that can get rather expensive. Right? So I don't really advise doing that. And like I said, this stores eight units of water, whether it be bucket or eight cells. So if you've got a ton of ore to wash, you're going to go through some cells. So one good thing about this, let me go ahead and destroy this uh, so I can get a little closer to here. I should have had this set up a little bit better. Actually, I did, but I moved around. I thought it would be better the other way. But it's not. So let's give it some power. Oh, sorry about this. Got to cheat here a little bit. Go cable. All right. All right. What we can do here is we can go ahead and hook up build craft equipment, build craft pump here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. I've got some golden fluid pipe. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, go over here, and if you're familiar with this uh, Buildcraft stuff, and of course you obviously got to be running Buildcraft to do this, but who's not running Buildcraft? I got some pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and start the engines here, get that pump working, and redstone engines. Gotta love them; they take forever. All right, but here we go, feeding it up. So. If you're going to run this wash plant for any length of time, I would suggest figuring out a way to keep water pumping to it. Remember, these redstone engines, they don't explode, uh, at least not for an extremely long time. I've never had one explode. I've used them quite a bit. All right, so anyways, there we go. So let's go ahead and start with the wash plant. Uh, we'll get to the uranium probably last. Let's go ahead and we'll wash some gold. This slot right here is where you're going to put your crushed ore. Let's go ahead and we'll throw in eight units. Let's speed up the process a little bit. Uh, in case you don't know, those are overclock upgrades. Just kind of speed up the process a little bit. All right. Let's see, it's working here. All right. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take that out. We don't need to do all that. All right. What we get in return, this is pretty much with every ore. We'll do another one, I'll show you. You get the purified crushed ore. All right. The purified is removing all the irregularities. All right? And then you get a small pile of gold dust. Um, generally, that will match the ore that you put in there. I put in gold, and I get a small pile of gold dust, but not always. I'll show you another one here in a minute. And then you get the stone dust. All right? The stone dust, as far as I can tell right now, it doesn't do anything. I've tried to put it in, a, in the furnace. I've tried to make something out of it in the craft table. Don't get anything. I just don't think it's being utilized yet, but it's there. So I would suggest saving it, throw it in a chest, do whatever, save it for later. All right, because I'm sure at some point they will be used. If anything, you probably at least put it in a recycler and get some scrap for it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, the main thing you're really going to want to use this ore washer for, if you don't use it to get the extra piles of, of gold here or ore, is you're going to need it to get, let's throw in some lead. Lead is the new ore for industrial craft. All right. Um, look, I'm not quite sure how deep it's you can find it, but I'm sure that'll come out later. It's brand new. They just came out with, with the lead. But you run it through here, and you get your, obviously, purified crushed lead. But now we get the small pile of sulfur dust. All right. This is how you get your sulfur, guys. Um, with that sulfur, let's see if we can... Uh, well, I'll use these CSUs, CESUs as an example here. Let's see, you go in here, and to make the CESU, where is it? It's right there. Let's get the recipe for that. You need the advanced RE batteries. Well, in order to make that, you need sulfur dust, all right? And this is the only way you can get sulfur, at least for now, guys, is the sulfur dust. Um, as far as I can tell right now, that's the only piece of equipment that uses uh, sulfur. I'm sure there'll be more that comes out. And then, of course, the lead dust. Um, but in order to do the sulfur, you need nine piles of it. Okay, so all your lead, you need to make sure to, if you're going to use those batteries, you need to run it through the ore washer. Oops, that's a macerator. You need to run it through the ore washer to get these piles. So that way you can get your sulfur, guys. All right, there's that. So now, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and run our uranium through there now. All right, out comes, of course, your purified crushed uranium. 
two small uh, two small piles of lead dust. All right. See, that's what I said. Sometimes you don't get uh, what you would expect out. There's uh, another one. I don't remember which one it is. Copper, I think. Copper gives you silver, I think, or tin will give you silver pile when you get it on. I'm not quite sure. Anywho, we're not going to run through all of them. You can do that yourself. This I'm just showing you the process here. All right. Oh, and let me go ahead and tell you this small or this bottom slot right here. Don't ask me. I don't know what it is. I've tried and I've tried. I've gone through almost anything I could figure in here to try to stick it in this slot and nothing fits. So I'm thinking they're just not incorporating it yet. Um, but the way the GUI is here, you would think that you could mix liquids to form maybe some super soapy liquid or I don't know what. But right now, as far as I can tell, this isn't used. If you guys can figure out what it's for, please leave me a comment. Let me uh, help me figure it out because uh, I'd like to know. All right. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's go ahead and make a daylight here. All right. Next new piece of equipment here. This is the thermal centrifuge. This is going to take you some time, guys um, and gals. And this is going to take some time here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you here. We're just going to run. We're not going to run the uranium yet. Let's run. And we'll just throw the gold in there. Throw one gold. This is something you're probably going to want to run when you've got an entire stack of ore because uh, what this has got to do you'll see this slowly heats up then this box right here this can turn green all right once this is green then it'll start to process the ore doesn't matter how many of these overclocks you stick in here and I could put all those in there and it's not going to speed up this heating process I've tried the other upgrades and uh, it doesn't it doesn't help speed that up so all this will do is once this is done and heated up then the power part of it will actually start to work and that's where the overclockers come in is when this starts to go up and then it'll process your so that's why I said it see how long it's taking this right now we'll go ahead and speed this up and through the magic of TV we are at the end. All right, now you see this starting to go up. Now it's actually working on the ore here. All right, and much like the ore washer is going to output, you're going to get pretty much the same thing every single time. All right, and this is gold we got here. So now we've got a small pile of silver. See? So it's not quite the same here. We got your gold dust. All right, and then another stone dust. Yeah, what's that going to do? But you see, this is now slowly starting to cool down. If we had an entire block in here, we could process it all. We'll stick it all in here for a second and watch this go up. And it's just going to sit here until it's done with the ore, and then it'll start cooling right back down. Um, it takes uh, it doesn't take quite as long to cool down as it does to heat up, so go on there with the stack of stuff. I don't think I tried putting uh, equipment on there to pump it in there, but I don't think you can yet. I think I did try it, and it didn't work. Um, I did try piping stuff out uh, into a chest, and that didn't work. See? So we got it working here, and it's still going. So it's quick if you got an entire stack. Let's go ahead and see. I, haven't, I didn't try this, though. I didn't put a chest right next to it. See if it dumps it out into directly into the chest. If it's connected, nope. Sure didn't. So, all right, we'll, we'll go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and pull it out. All right, we'll have to come back and do the uranium. That'll be tedious, but we'll come back doing anyways. So, anyways, with the dust you get out of there, guys, now you could take your gold dust. Oops, take your gold dust. This is what you're used to, or any of the dust that you get out of that. And bang, there's your ingots. All right, and we got our ingots. So now, if you've got, I believe I put in some in here. Okay, so there's our gold dust. What you could do with now that you get those small piles, you come in here. You need at least nine of them. You come in here and you fill in your crafting table, and it gives you dust. So there's your extra dust. That's what I was telling you. After several attempts, you get some extra. Oops, that's a macerator you get an extra ore so it can pay off in the long run you know for especially for things like gold it might be worth going through gold because gold's harder to find all right so now let's get to before this cools down too far let's go ahead and do the uranium uh purified you gotta throw in the purified throw it in there all right let it heat up let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit all right before this finishes we'll go ahead and slow it down here and uh you guys are lucky thank goodness for the 
production of TV. Huh? I could fast forward this so you don't have to deal with it. Anyways, you guys saw I got the small piles of silver dust. All right, um, this comes out. Uh, it just comes out in the ore wash too. You get some of these in the ore wash too. Silver is not being used yet either. Uh, currently, this is the only way you can get silver. There's no ore of the mountains. Uh, you can't go mining for it. But like the stone, uh, the stone dust here doesn't do anything. You can uh, you can't even make an ingot out of it yet. So don't worry about doing that because uh, it's not going to do anything. But I would save it because I'm sure at some point it's going to be useful. All right. So now this is finished up here. What you get out of this is you get, uh, obviously, the small pile of uranium, which, like all the other stuff, you can take nine of those, and uh, I believe, actually, no, I don't think you can take nine of those. Anyways, oh, the other thing you got to be careful of is uh, this is now radioactive, all right? So as soon as you stick it in your inventories, you can go like this, and I've got radiation for two minutes and 30 seconds. So make sure when you're doing this, you have your hat, full hazmat suit on your rubber boots, your hazmat legs, uh, chest armor, and your scuba helmet. All right. Uh, otherwise, two minutes and 30 seconds is going to kill you. But I'm in creative world, so it's uh, it's not going to hurt me any. But I wanted to show that to you guys. All right. I've already got some of this in here, and as soon as and yeah, the small pile of uranium that. Uh, still keeps your radio radiation levels up. All right, so we take our small pile of uranium in there, and you'll see now, now it's starting to go down, all right? So, remember that. You're going to probably kill yourself if you don't. You missed 30 seconds, and that's pretty tough. All right, so now to enrich our uranium. This is actually pretty easy. What we need is we need six of these, and three of the small piles, okay? And it's just done at a crafting table. All right, you take uh, three there, three there, and these three there, and you're you got your enriched uranium nuclear fuel. And right? I believe that's radioactive too. Nope, that's actually <laughs> that's surprisingly that's not uh, that's not radioactive. That's kind of odd. You figure the enriched would be radioactive before this other uranium. All right, anyways, that's uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. I'm not going to go into the nuclear reactors and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that. I will, and if you want me to, I can go ahead and do that tutorial uh, at some point. Um, just let me know, because I'm sure the process changed a little bit, especially uh, if we got the new enriched uranium fuel cells and all that stuff. So, uh, And it actually looks like there's a bunch of other stuff in this mod, too. Lithium, uh, titanium, and uh, there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Yeah, and cue the music. That's perfect timing. That's way to draw it to an end. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and wrap this up and pedal myself like pretty much everybody else does. Uh, go ahead and if you like this video, hit like down at the bottom there. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to me. I'm going to try to come out with these uh, tutorials. This is uh, my first one. Actually, I've done a couple others. I just haven't released them yet. Uh, probably won't. Uh, we'll see how those go. Uh, but this one's out there for you guys. Uh, hit like, go ahead and subscribe to me, and have a good day. Hey guys, one last thing I forgot to mention here is the thermal centrifuge. It actually holds roughly 24,000 units of energy, so it's pretty uh, demanding on its resources. And then also, it is a medium voltage machine, not a light voltage, so that's why I have the two setups here. This one does not have a transformer. It comes from a medium voltage storage device straight to the machine. Alright, well that's all I had for you. Have a good one.